there's an entire underground world of tiny supercars. From the 935-pound Rush SR1 to the record-smashing McMurdy Spearling. But the smallest supercar ever made, weighing in less than the average American male and seating just one person, is the Sierra RX-3. Its goal is to beat out more expensive supercars and prove, after all, that size doesn't really matter. Sierra Cars was born in 2017. Its father, Cole Powelson, started out as a bicycle mechanic before advancing to the world of motorsports. His vision was to create an exciting enthusiast race car with an affordable price tag, one that could be driven in the dirt, on the ice, and even to the drive through and the car he built fits the bill exactly. It has a unique tubular space frame chassis to keep weight as low as possible. Less weight means less power is needed to move that weight and a smaller, less expensive engine can be used. That means you're spending less money for a car that has a better power to weight ratio. And that engine is a 1300cc inline four cylinder motor barred from the Suzuki Hayabusa. The superbike power plant produces about 200 horsepower and can rev to 11,000 RPM. Not to mention, it's also small enough to fit behind the driver in the RX-3's tiny frame. The only problem with motorcycle drivetrains is, well, there's no reverse. And take it from me, it's not very easy to waddle backwards in a four-wheeled car, even if it is lightweight. So instead, Sierra removed the stock Hayabusa 6-speed and installed a quick-shifting, straight-cut, sequentially-shifted 6-speed Sadev gearbox. This is similar to the original motorcycle transmission because you can only go up or down one gear at a time, but you use your hand instead of your foot, like in a traditional car. And as a bonus, it also has a reverse gear, a luxury that most motorcycles are generally missing, unless you own a Honda Goldwing. From that SATEV unit, the 200 horses are then sent to a limited slip differential, which will help the RX-3 power out of corners. Sierra claims a 0-60 time of 2.8 seconds for this machine, and a top speed of 121 miles per hour, likely limited by the aggressive gear ratios. <laughs> And finally, the stat you've all been waiting for. Thanks to its bare-bones approach to motorsports, the RX-3 has a curb weight of just 925 pounds, placing it securely among the smallest and lightest road cars ever made. But the most interesting part of the RX-3's design is definitely the open-wheel layout. Because of the extended suspension arms and long-travel dampers, the RX-3 is just as capable off the road as it is on. Without a set of annoying fenders to get in the way, you can install anything from racing slicks to Nami dirt tires on this thing. It's called a UTV, or Utility Terrain Vehicle. The versatile platform makes a great foundation to learn rally racing. With just a few minutes and a couple wrenches, it can transform from race car to rock crawler. But what would a supercar be without a super price? The RX-3 is currently offered at a starting cost of $50,000. Yeah, it's a lot less than your run-of-the-mill Ferrari, but still quite the chunk of change for something so small. But don't worry, because the RX-3 is only one of three different models offered by Sierra Cars. Over the past six years, they've expanded their lineup to include something for everyone. For example, their 700 RX is a more affordable entry-level beater that uses an engine from the Yamaha Raptor instead of the more expensive Hayabusa. Now, that might reduce top speed to a mere 85 miles per hour, but it also reduces the price tag to about $41,000. Plus, they say it has an even lower curb weight than the standard RX-3. On the other end of the scales is the Sierra Alpha, which, as the name suggests, is their top-of-the-line flagship model. It has a Garrett turbocharger installed to increase power up to 600 horses. Plus a load of carbon fiber aero to try and keep all four wheels on the ground. 
This car gained notoriety when it completed the Pikes Peak Hill Climb course in less than 10 minutes, a feat shared by cars like the Porsche 911 GT3. Sadly, all this performance does add to the cost and the weight, leaving the Alpha at a positively porky 1,100 pounds. Your wallet will need to be even fatter at a price tag of $75,000. But still, who else will be able to say that they own a miniature Formula One style supercar? Did you enjoy this video? Subscribe. Did you hate this video? Subscribe anyway. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers so I can get one of those shiny metal squares to hang on my wall. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.